The dominoes keep falling in the Macomb County corruption scandal today. A former attorney pleaded guilty for his part in the scam that helped the former Rizzo Corporation get trash hauling contracts. But there is one person who uh, this case is tilting against right now. Rod Maloney live at federal court with more on what we've learned. Rod. Yes, Devin, Angelo Selvo is the former attorney who pleaded guilty today to the odd sounding felony of misprision of a felony. We'll explain that in a second, but it's interesting. He had a lot to say today and he offered some advice to one of the people who he says put him in the middle of this whole mess. I'm guilty. I, I produced a false promissory note that he used to pay a fee Basically, it was a bribe from uh, from the Rizzo Corporation. He, says Angelo Silva, was his former best friend and employer, Dean Reynolds. Reynolds was the Clinton Township trustee at the heart of the Rizzo bribery scandal, at least so the feds say. Reynolds had a school called Universal Training Center, and up until a few weeks ago, Selvo served as its principal. Today in court, Selva went before Judge Robert H. Cleland to plead guilty for what amounts to knowing a crime had been committed and then not reporting that crime to authorities in a timely fashion. Selva was a former attorney and admitted he knew better. He claimed a dysfunctional relationship with Reynolds, whom he'd been best man for at one of Reynolds' weddings. I was extremely manipulated by him. Uh, I did not profit by any of, of anything I've done. Selvo could be a damaging witness if this case ends up in court. He names Chuck Rizzo as a participant in the bribery and advises Reynolds not to go to trial. Everybody's pleading. He's the only one that's pleading not guilty. I mean, I think that he's, he's cutting his own throat, you know. What he means by that is that he says that Reynolds, if he goes to trial, is going to have to hear from him. He's ready to go on the stand, happy to cooperate with the feds. And in fact, that's part of his whole deal. He's scheduled to get something just under two years in prison. He'll be back for his sentencing come October, and we'll see how much jail time he gets based on how the rest of this case goes. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.